Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. It is time for another shopper drop. Basically, I go through Trend Moods Instagram and I go through products and I tell you whether I want to shop for them and, you know, add them to my shopping cart or I'm going to drop them from my wish list and we'll be passing on the product. Obviously, this idea was, of course, started from Samantha Marsh. Just want to give her her credit where it is do. It is such a fun series, so if you want to see my thoughts on new makeup releases, then just keep watching. Alrighty, let's head over to Tread Mood. If you're not following them, what are you doing with your life? Also, I was having one of those days where nothing was working out for me. Like, the makeup I wanted, it just didn't really turn out how I wanted. Literally, this simple makeup took me two hours to do. <laughs> like, things weren't working out. I had to keep removing, redo my eyes, and I was gonna do a really pink look, and look what I ended up with. Trying to decide where to start off with. So, I'm gonna start off with the older posts to the newer posts. So, I'm just gonna go through and kind of talk through posts that look interesting to me or that I want to talk about. So first I'm going to talk about the ColourPop Villains collection. I actually did see this in store and I swatched them and there was a couple things that kind of caught my eye. In the store itself, the items came in sets. I don't think you really could buy them individually and though this stuff looked okay, I really just I'm not interested in this collection, so I'm definitely dropping this collection. I don't really care about Disney villains, to be honest, the theme doesn't really interest me personally. And I'm also just not in love with the colors, not even of the eyeshadow palette. So I will be passing and dropping that from my list. At the same time, they did come out with their spring collection, which was so much better. I did pick up the palette and I am contemplating ordering a few more things from that collection online because... <gasps> That, that whole collection, the packaging, everything is just so beautiful and the colors, I love them. So I would definitely skip that and go for the actual spring collection from ColourPop because it is gorgeous. I haven't yet used the palette, but I'm so excited to. I've been saving to haul it first and I just have a bunch of other makeup I've been trying um, so that I can do product updates for you guys. So a lot of the new makeup I bought has been put on hold. Oh, also here we have the YSL Summer Collection. So obviously it is not available right now, but it looks like we have a bronzer, a couple lip colors, a couple nail colors, and the palette. The only thing that's really catching my eye from this collection is the eyeshadow palette. I have a soft spot for greens, uh, but I definitely know this is something I will be dropping and passing on. I don't really own too much from YSL as a brand. It just, I guess it's not a brand that interests me, and I don't know, I'm just not really that interested in this, so I will be dropping that. Okay, so I have been wanting to talk about this with you guys. The Nikita Dragon Dragon Beauty makeup stuff. Now, I do like supporting YouTubers, and I don't really watch Nikita, honestly. Like, I don't watch a lot of the super big, popular beauty people here on YouTube. I like smaller channels, and I like supporting smaller channels. There's a few big channels that I watch, but not too many. So this is available right now, and it's like a powdered color corrector and skin perfecting potion transformation face powder. I don't really know what they are, clearly. And to be honest, I'm going to pass no shade or anything to Nikita Dragon. They're just both products that don't really interest me. I think a color correcting powder is pretty cool. I would not really grab for those personally on me very often, but sometimes when I do makeup on other people, I want a color corrector to just correct a few things, but especially powders, I really like kind of using those at the end. But... I don't know, I just feel like if you're a YouTuber and you're starting a brand, those are weird products to start off with. I don't know, it just seems a bit off to me. The NARS Orgasm Collection. I did see the big N Orgasm blush and the lip gloss in Sephora today, actually, and I was tempted to get the blush because I did used to have an Orgasm blush and I ended up decluttering it just because it was old, so I am due for a new one that actually might be on my VIB wish list but no actually no because there is a palette coming out i don't see a date on this specific post maybe it'll come on later but oh my gosh this palette is beautiful first of all i'm kind of sick of nars right now and them coming out with all of these palettes super annoying nars used to not be like that like it just they're not pushing out quality either so that kind of disappoints me but i don't know how can i not pick up this palette i hope the orgasm blush 
is in there since I don't have that anymore and it's such a classic. But yes, I will be shopping the Orgasm palette. I think it looks beautiful and the packaging. Even though I'm mad at NARS right now because they're coming out with another palette that looks like their other palettes. This Orgasm one is kind of unique and I'll just be getting it, okay? Ooh, okay. So this MAC collection. Now, I don't really talk about MAC too much on my channel. Occasionally, I will talk about some products. Ironically, though, they did open up a MAC counter by my house and there's never been a MAC, anything cool by my house, to be honest. So we have a nice MAC counter within 10 minutes of where I live. So I actually did celebrate and I picked up a few things from MAC to, ooh, from MAC today. I like MAC. I don't have any problems with MAC. Their brand is dying. Um, it's just not what it used to be. But they do have some good classic things. Today I'm actually wearing Soft and Gentle and by golly, it is gorgeous. But anyways, uh, so this collection is called the Bronzing Collection. It says it will be available in the UK April 4th, which was a couple days ago. It's not available in the US. You guys, the packaging on this is stunning. I might have to pick a couple of things up so they have these beautiful eyeshadow palettes which I feel like their eyeshadows people just don't really like them anymore and their palettes their curated palettes haven't been as good quality but I am eyeing that cool tone one I'm not going to lie um, the lipsticks seem quite wearable very very pretty colors the colors look really wearable and pretty so I definitely once it comes out I will be going to my local Mac counter and picking up a couple things maybe a couple lipsticks they have a face palette that i probably won't pick up maybe like a palette and a couple lipsticks is what i will end up picking up but honestly that packaging though i know it's so bad to buy products for packaging but i'm past the point of feeling bad for that like this is me this is my channel i like makeup and i like packaging sometimes i buy makeup for the packaging all right blue blood you guys have been asking me about this originally on my channel i had said i was going to pass on this or drop it i guess and mm, mm, i might have purchased it i might have already filmed two looks using it so a review with a couple looks in that video is in the works i'm not really in a rush to get it up because there are already so many but a few of you have asked me about that palette i did end up caving and picking it up and yeah, I'm working on it. Last week, Olimar Cosmetics released their new collection of blushes and lip glosses. I do have a full review up of that already, so I did end up purchasing those. I mean, the glosses aren't my favorite in the world, but I do like the glosses, and I really like the whole concept behind the blush trio, so check out my review if you want to know my thoughts on those. Oh yeah, by the way, I forgot to mention the Blue Jeffree Star Cosmetics blue blood collection they came out with like a bunch of other blue things no i did not purchase anything else besides the palette because look me buying the palette was really stretching it for if i was going to use it i definitely am not using blue liquid highlighters or lipsticks so i did drop those fenty bronzers i actually saw those in sephora today i did swatch i will be adding those to my loves list on sephora i'm not planning on purchasing them anytime soon i did pick out the color i would purchase if I were to purchase it. So I think this is something I will pick up down the road, but I just feel no hurry to pick it up right now. Um, I'm sure it's really nice, and I think I will like it once I get it, but I'm in no rush for it right so now. The Tarte Icy Betch Palette. No, I will definitely not be purchasing that. I am dropping that from my list. Not that it was ever on there. This just catches me as a cheaply made palette that they brought out just to make a quick buck. I mean, I don't know. I've only watched one review on it, but from what I can tell, it doesn't look like it's very good quality to me. It doesn't look that well thought out. So the original palette that they based it off of, which was an April Fool's joke last year, if they were going to do it, they might as well have gone all the way. I don't know why they felt the need to do that little half buck palette uh because i mean obviously i don't know anything about makeup production but they could have easily just made it like their regular tartlet tart and bloom palette instead it looks like they just came out with something that they just made really quickly to make a quick buck so no will not be purchasing that fenty it looks like fenty came out with a few other things but 
I won't be purchasing those. So lately I've been really into Kaja. Um, I bought a lip product from them and their little eyeshadow stacks and I've been playing with those. Um, so they are coming out, well they're already out right now, the sparkling eye pigments. So I will be shopping one of these at least, most likely. I do have it right now in my loves list. That's probably something I will pick up during the VIB sale. So I'm going to wait till I can get it on sale. But I am very interested in these. I feel like it could go either way. I could really love it or I could really hate it. That's why I only want to buy one just to see what I think of the formula. I'm a sucker for liquid shadows, glitter shadows, anything like that. So these are right up my alley. It doesn't make sense for me to buy more than one unless I really love the formula. So yes, it is on my loves list. Okay, something else I really wanted to talk about was the Patrick Ta releases. So he came out with his own brand. And by the way, I love Patrick Ta. I've been following him on Instagram for quite some time now. I love his work. I mean... He works on the most beautiful people, first of all, which really helps him, but his work is also very beautiful. He creates such beautiful, glowing, pretty, natural looks that just really bring out the beauty that his beautiful models already have. Uh, but no, I really do like his work, so not everything in his line interests me. Uh, I will be shopping that sh highlight spray. It just looks really cool to me. They sold out of White Pearl and Sephora, which I'm really upset by, so I might have to place an order on his website, but I won't be purchasing the body glow or the lip glosses. The lip glosses just look kind of unnecessary to me, just really overpriced, sheer glittery lip glosses, which I mean, how many of those do I need? And the body glow, I just don't really use body glow. I probably should get into it. But yeah, that's just not something I will be purchasing. Natasha Denona came out with some concealers. These are the Transfix Matte Concealers. They are $28 each and they come in 23 shades. I don't know if I'm going to end up purchasing these. As of now, they are in my loves list along with the Foundation X from Natasha Denona because I do want to do a full face of Natasha Denona products eventually or potentially a day of testing out Natasha Denona foundation and concealer video that's on my mind. Let me know if that's something you would be interested in. So. I'm not sure right now. I think most likely I will end up cave and end up shopping this concealer, but I don't know. I haven't really heard that many great things about it, so we will see. So MAC came out with a new collection called MAC Strip Down, and so basically it's a nude lipstick collection. It's, like, it's a nude lip collection, I guess. It comes with like glosses and liners it looks like um, I don't know all I know is I saw it in store today and I did purchase one lipstick which you will see in a haul it's like called to sexy or something I don't know if it was in their permanent line or anything I just saw it in the nude collection display and I did pick one up so I guess that shopped I shopped one thing from that collection Juvia's Place came out with a foundation and concealer I don't have much experience with Juvia's Place as a brand I do have a couple palettes they're pretty good uh, they're not my favorite formula but they're pretty pretty good for what their price is like really good for their price I won't be picking either of those up I'm going to drop them they just don't really interest me I'm not head over heels for Juvia's Place quite yet maybe I do need to try a few more of their products out but so far the brand just hasn't done it for me I do like the brand don't get me wrong I just don't have a lot of products from the brand and I don't really feel the need to buy anymore okay let's talk about this I know you guys are interested in hearing about this so we have the Charlotte Tilbury Makeup Glowgasm Collection. So it comes with two face palettes and some beauty light wands. Um, okay, shop. <laughs> I will probably be picking one of these up. My mother, who has a more darker complexion than myself, is probably going to pick up the darker palette. I don't know. I have to consult with her. But if that's the case, I will have two of those to review. I will definitely be reviewing at least one. As far as the Beauty Light Wands, I will be passing on those. I think those highlighting wands are alright. They're not my favorite. I don't really like liquid highlighters in general, so that's just something I can't get into. So I will be dropping those, but the palettes, I'm so weak. I'm gonna buy those. Doesn't look like there's a release date for that from what I can tell. Kind of looking through, I think that's everything I want to talk about. I mean, I'll talk about really quickly. Jeffree Star Concealer, probably, and that's a drop because I can't see the shades in person. Eh, actually, nah. 
there really isn't anything else interesting that I want to mention. So there you go. There we have it. That is my thoughts on new makeup releases, whether or not I will be purchasing them. I hope you guys found this video entertaining to watch. I hope you found it helpful. Let me know what you'll be picking up in these next few coming months and what you definitely will not be picking up. I want to know. Let's get a discussion going. You guys know I love to respond back to each and every one of you. So again, if you've made it this far, thank you guys for watching and supporting my channel. If you are subscribed, already like what are you doing just go ahead and subscribe <laughs> and I will catch you guys in my next video bye guys have a great day